I'm going to start this presentation by asking you a couple of questions. Here's one people have asked for millennia. What causes lightning? Why do giant sparks shoot through the sky on a stormy night? Here's a question people haven't asked for quite so long. Why does your dog's fur stand up like this after it's rubbed against fabric? In case you're curious, rabbit fur is the best for producing this effect. Well, this is where things get interesting. Lightning and your dog's fur standing up are created by the same thing, static electricity. It's all to do with charge, one of the most basic features of matter in our universe. You should recall that matter is made up of atoms, which are themselves made of tiny particles like electrons, protons, and neutrons. Electrons have what we call a negative charge, and protons have a positive charge. Positive is the opposite of negative, so we say protons have the opposite charge to electrons. Opposites actually attract each other, meaning if you leave a proton and an electron in a room together, they will move closer to each other over time. We can measure charge, and it has units of coulombs. These have a capital C as their special maths symbol, which I'll show you in a minute. Now the important part. Any charged particle can have something called an electric potential, and this is an energy-related concept. Let's have a look at potential in detail. Imagine you have two straight rods, like this red one and this blue one. Let's not worry about what they're made of or how big they are. None of that matters for this explanation. All we need to know is that the rods are electrically charged. Say the red one has a positive charge of 1 coulomb, and the blue one has a charge of negative 1 coulomb. The rods have exactly opposite charges, but let's say we're holding them very firmly so they can't move toward each other. Now we take two particles, 1 and 2, and hold them between the rods like this. Particle 1 is next to the positive rod, particle 2 is chilling out by the negative rod. The particles both have the same charge, so they are identical. The only difference here is their position. The position of a charged particle affects the energy associated with it. Scientists consider the positive plate to be a high energy position, while the negative plate is a low energy environment. Then there's a difference in potential energy between the particles, which we label as delta U. The energy associated with a charged particle tells us its potential. This quantity is measured in joules per coulomb, so it's energy per unit of charge. Real particles don't have charges of exactly one coulomb, so you normally need a calculator to work this out. Potential difference is a difference in energies, or a change in energies, and that's what the delta U refers to. It's really just one potential minus another, the difference between high energy and low energy. And now for the really cool part, you don't need any particles at all to have a potential. In fact, the potential difference exists in any place where there's a difference of charge. These two rods have opposite charges, and the whole area between them has a potential difference. You can measure electric potentials in that area without directly measuring any particles. It is simply a property of the electric field between the rods. Now, some housekeeping. The term potential difference is a bit clunky, so we're going to use a better word. Voltage. If you've ever heard the phrase high voltage, this is where it comes from. Anytime you have a voltage, you have electricity. Remember, potential is measured in joules per coulomb, energy per charge. Voltage still has those same units, which gives us a nice formula. V equals delta U divided by Q, where delta U is the energy difference between two points in an electric field. The little Q is our symbol for charge. A small voltage is created when you rub fabric through your dog's fur, and the two end up attracting each other. That's why the fur stands up, and you can even get pieces of paper or little balloons to stick to it. But be careful with large voltages. Lightning is caused by a massive voltage that builds up between the ground, which becomes positively charged, and negative charges in storm clouds. Those amazing flashes you see happen when the voltage gets too high for the air to handle, and all the negative charges jump down to the earth. One of the key ideas in physics is that a system always acts to lower its potential energy. For this reason, 
Positively charged particles tend to move away from high energy areas and into low energy areas. Protons are positive and they always go from areas of high potential to areas of low potential. This is a bit like how water flows. Water always goes downhill because gravity pulls it down. When you have water on top of a hill, it has a lot of gravitational potential energy and it wants to get rid of it. To do that, it must flow down the hill to a lower energy position. Protons are basically doing the same thing, but instead of a hill, they flow down an electric field. Electrons and other negatively charged particles are like salmon, which go against the flow of water in rivers and actually jump uphill to reach their spawning grounds. Electrons and protons have opposite charges, so an electron always does the opposite to what you'd expect for a proton. It considers the areas of high potential to be low energy environments. After all, the high potential corresponds to a positively charged region, which would attract electrons. This is no trivial matter, because the ideas of potential and voltage are behind everything in electricity. If electrons didn't move the opposite way to protons, the universe as we know it could not exist. Atoms would collapse in on themselves, life would never arise, and you would not have a school to go to. So let's be grateful for voltage, and take some time to try and understand it a bit better. The following exercises will test your knowledge of electrical concepts, and give you a chance to think about the fundamental nature of charged particles. Good luck, and thank you for your attention.